My name is Ivanka Woodley Sterling. I am a registered nurse by profession and I work for the Collective Prevention Services. For today we have the breastfeeding toddler time, which is a story time for the kids. We do it for toddlers, but of course we're having a bigger number of kids coming also. So at right now we have the oldest child being 11. The breastfeeding toddler time is to bring about awareness because studies have shown that children that breastfeed raises their IQ, but we're not focusing only on the ones that are breastfeeding, but we're focusing on the whole table of kids that we have out there. So we want to bring the kids out for them to get more experience with reading and also for bonding time with the parents. So that's why we ask for the parents to come along, that they can also sit with the children and have a good time while the story is going on. The breastfeeding awareness campaign that we do is always in the month of August because from the 1st to the 7th of August is World Breastfeeding Week. This year's theme is sustaining breastfeeding uh, together as a community and we are using that to bring out everyone that we can help each other. We have doctors along, stakeholders, the hospital, the White and Yellow Cross, the Educare Department and we are expanding as much as possible this year to different people within the community. Now, your attendance, how well is that? Right now, we're up to 52 persons today. It started out slow because we started this in August 2015, where we had a turnout of approximately 30 kids, including parents, and now we're up to 52. And is there anything else that will be happening when you finish here? At the ending of um, this session, the toddler time, we will be also having the prize giving ceremony for the breastfeeding photo contest that we had that was started on the 11th of July until the 7th of August and we extended it by a week that we can um, get more people in. We have the winners today and they will be coming in and they can get their prizes today from participating within the hotel care the photo competition. How is the response with the parents? Do they appreciate what you all are doing? Yes, they continue to ask for more. As I can see, I have seen different parents that are returning this time from the last previous event that we had in the month of April. So this is the second one for this year, but in total the fourth for from since 2015. And the turnout is getting better and they appreciate that we are doing this, that they can have time with their kids also. Now you have... Uh, I think it's counted about 52 person. The public is up to climb as we're doing the taping. Um, you need a bigger place to keep that because I mean, yes, because the room is getting smaller because everyone is coming out. So we're looking to have a discussion to see if we can use another location within the library because this is a very central area where we can call the, the let the people come to and have the toddler time. What encouragement, as we wrap up this interview, that you would give to parents to able to participate into this breastfeeding? Well, with breastfeeding, it's it's not a challenge. It's something you would want to do because it's the best possible feeding you can give your baby. So we continue to encourage breastfeeding on that level, and also, as I said, the studies have shown that the IQ from the babies that are breastfed are even higher. So we encourage that you read to your child, you continue to give as much attention and bonding time with your child that you can get them to the level as where they want to be. Right now it's a stepping stone for the kids and this is your first start. And if people need to get in contact with you to get more information, how can they go about that? We have different ways. Right now you can always check on our Facebook page, Collective Prevention Services. Also you can reach us by telephone at 5423003. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more, however you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right, get 15 more. Wow, I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. 
Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Tell Cell when you want more. Need a loan that's quick and easy. yourself a brand new car from the St. Martin's Lions Club and Port of St. Martin Group of Companies. Get your tickets for the Gold Green Car Raffle and win a brand new Toyota Prius C. Tickets only $10. Get your tickets today. The more tickets you get, the more chances you have. Friday, Sunday, October 8th. It's available at Van Gogh Bedien, Madame Estate. Big D's for the studio on the Bonfield. And from all Lion members and at the Lion's Den. Get your tickets to win a brand new car from the St. Martin's Lions Club and Port of St. Martin Group of Companies. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. Recently, there was an article in the newspaper about a joint control um, with uh, labor and police uh, immigration. Um, and in particular, they explained a, an incident where a worker that was trying to escape from the construction job site was, in, was injured. Um, and it's interesting, as you kind of look at the social media, there was basically two sorts of reactions. One saying, you know, look, have a little bit of sympathy, urging government to be a bit sympathetic, that these are really just hardworking people trying to make a living and trying to survive. And then there was also another sentiment that came out, which was supportive of government and a need for improved controls and compliance. And in fact, actually, I understand and I agree with both sentiments, but I, I would like to provide a little bit more clarity as to what my opinion is and the opinion, I think, of government. Um, in these cases, I believe that the workers are victims. Um, and I have a message to employers. You are obligated obligated by law to pay taxes and social premiums regardless of the legal status of the employee. You are obligated to obtain proper working documents for your employees. And I consider it abusive to allow workers to live without access to health care and also in constant fear. To employees, I would like to make sure that you understand when you work for a company, you are entitled to a pay slip, a paper pay slip. We're working on our new legislation. It may be digital as well, but currently it's a paper pay slip. And on that pay slip, it should indicate the amount of taxes that have been withheld from your salary, as well as proof that your social premiums have been paid. And with proof of this, this means that you're entitled to health insurance through SEDV, provided that you work five days a week and earn less than 5,600 guilders um, 5,600 guilders. And your employer is required uh, to request a work permit for you. And I've taken the liberty to look a little bit into some of our statistics. I've asked our department to, to do a bit of research to put this into perspective. From January 1st of 2016 to August 1st of 2017, there have been 81 requests for permits for construction workers, of which only eight have been rejected. And of those eight that were rejected, they were actually all for 
tax compliance reasons, meaning that the company that was applying for the permits has not in compliance with their taxes. And actually, out of those eight companies, six were outs and bureaus or employee leasing companies. So um, in my opinion, what this shows is that construction companies in particular and other companies as well, there's no reason for you to have workers that don't have their proper documentation. Simply, you need to comply with the law and make your uh, apply for the permits. But this is also a broader issue. You know, government needs revenues. Not the, the fact is, the more non-compliance there is, that means the burden for others is heavier. And so what I'm saying is, the people that pay taxes end up paying the taxes for the people that are not compliant. And the more compliance there is, it means government would have more tax revenues, and that government wouldn't need to look at increasing the burden, in other words, increasing tax measures, for the people that are already paying. There's also an issue about economics, about fair competition, leveling the playing field. Legitimate and compliant companies are going to have a very serious competitive disadvantage when they're competing against companies that don't pay their appropriate taxes and social premiums. And this isn't only for construction companies, this is also for um, tire shops, garages, restaurants, bars, retail shops, professional services, you name it, across the board. If we don't have a level playing field, the people that are compliant and who are following the laws are actually punished by those laws. St. Martin are switching to a more rewarding experience. The Whip MasterCard Fun Miles Credit Card, better known as My Card. Earn one fun mile for every $2 spent, even abroad and online. This will quickly get you a ton of fun miles to redeem for travel, shopping, food, fuel, and much more. But there's more to My Card worldwide acceptance, an EMV chip for extra security, and 250 free fun miles with first use. Switch to my card today at WIB. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Tell Cell when you want more. Win yourself a brand new car from the St. Martin's Lions Club and Port of St. Martin Group of Companies. Get your tickets for the Gold Green Car Raffle and win a brand new Toyota Prius C. Tickets only $10. Get your tickets today. The more tickets you get, the more chances you have. Friday, Sunday, October 8th. Tickets available at Van Gogh Bedin, Madame Estate. Big D's for the studio on the Pondville. And from all Lion members and at the Lion's Den. Get your tickets to win a brand new car from the St. Martin's Lions Club and Port of St. Martin Group of Companies. You cannot mix up apples with oranges. Capital expenditures are fixed once the budget has been approved by Parliament. On the spending in the ordinary budget, if the year, uh, year ends up with a surplus, such surplus has to go towards paying off past debts. MP George Pantaflet 
asked, when will the actuary present his or her report as it relates to Dürr de Toeslag? That report is expected in the third quarter of 2017. He further asked, what are our present account receivables and payables? All present account receivables and payables are current. It takes, as mentioned before, about four to six weeks to settle payments. Of course, we have other debts, such as past debts between the, 2000, the year 2010 up to 2015, as well as the outstanding bonds that we have requested or have for which loans, long-term loans have been issued. And of course, we also have receivables such as outstanding taxes and other license fees that are owed to government. But as far as a month-to-month -month operational income is concerned and expenses are concerned, all these can be found in the semi-annual report for 2017 as submitted and which is the subject of these discussions today. Those revenues and expenses are all, all detailed there. And uh, through the annual accounts, um, which are up to date up to 2015, um, the receivables and payables are all reflected in those reports. We have submitted annual reports to Parliament, I believe, up to 2013, 2014, and 15, as well as 16, is still outstanding. 2016 annual report uh, uh, is being prepared as we speak. And SORB is presently um, working on them, and we are attempting to get the 2016 annual report completed uh, before the end of the year. In fact, the expectation is that it be ready by the end of September. And B. George Panflet mentioned that the CFT sought clarity of the amendment to the budget 2017 and asked if the amendments already reached the desk of the CFT. Yes, I can confirm that they have. The, clar the clarification sought by CFT have been delivered to the CFT. And um, the budget amendment we expect by the end of next week will reach uh, Parliament. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. Everything is perfect and you would be great for the job. 
But I see here that there's a two-year gap in your resume. What did you do? I was hospitalized for mental illness. Oh, mental illness? I've undergone treatment, and I have a wonderful family that supports me. Well, that is good news. No, no, it's fine. I'm recovered. We'll contact you, okay? For a better understanding of mental health and what you can do to stop mental health stigma, please go to the Mental Health Foundation's website at www.mhf-sxm.com. Minister Gibson has indicated that uh, the budget would probably be in Parliament before the 1st of September. Yes. Uh, it's getting a bit tight. Do you think it's still possible? Or you it, don't have it at the moment? Uh, no, we, no we, 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 don't, we don't have the budget no. yet. And the, of course, once approved by the Council of Ministers, you always have the trajectory to the Council of no. State, uh, sorry, Council of Advice, and, and then the government has to respond to that advice. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I guess the minister is, um, is aware of all of this and he still feels it can be here mm -hmm. on time. So things might be, might be looking bright mm -hmm. where that is concerned. Okay. Um, the issue of labor reform, Chair Lady, this has been talked about for a number of years now. Why do you think the process is taking so long? The, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. In the, case of, in the case of the particular law that is before us, which is a change of the civil code, that on its own takes a very long time when it comes to changing the civil code. So that's why that took so long. It has been at Parliament by the way, since 2015, as I mentioned. However, Parliament was then advised by the government slash the minister that before we deal with that particular draft law, amending the civil code, that we should allow him, the minister, time to make sure that the social partners, so labor and business, are on board with these changes. I believe that is a critical item in terms of dealing with labor reform. So we, as Parliament, allowed the minister to do exactly that. And so the minister was able to report when he came to Parliament, these are the areas that the social partners have agreed to. And it is a sort of a step-by-step -step process that the minister has engaged in to make sure that every step that he makes, it is something carried by um, labor and business. And as you can imagine, a process like that is not the fastest process because you're talking with these groups. You want labor and business to agree on certain things and you need to give them time to go back to their members, to come back, to negotiate, to deliberate. And so I, I guess that has um, that has a lot to do as well with the reason why we're still here on that draft.